Halloween is just one week away, and if you're looking for fun to do some experiments with your family or even some weekend events to attend, we have you covered. Angela Cavanaugh joins us for the Michigan Science Center. We're always excited when you're here. Thank you so much for having us, Troy. We're really excited to talk about Halloween today. Because we're doing some spooky experiments right yes, here. And look are. at this jack-o'-lantern. This is so <laughs> well done. A, a perfect carving. Thank did you, you do thank it? Thank you. I did not. One of my coworkers did, uh, uh -huh. but we really pride ourselves on our Jack well, it's perfect. <laughs> so what are we talking about today? So we have a lot of events happening this weekend, but I also wanted to talk about some science that people can try at home um, during the spooky season. So the first thing that we're going to do is a little dry ice experiment. Ooh, we love dry ice. Yeah, you yeah. can get dry ice at places like Meyer, um, but you just want to be kind of careful with it because it can be dangerous because it's very, very cold. So I'm going to okay. put on my gloves. All right, I have um, these gloves on, but you're doing that experiment, you do, so I'm we, safe. We're going to need those right. gloves for our next experiment okay. over there. All and right, so what we're going to do, gonna do right. this is just some warm water. I'm going to okay. pour it into this beaker here. And of course, to make it a little more Halloween-ish, we're going to put it inside of our cauldron to have oh, a little yes. smoking cauldron. I love it. And then we're going to add our dry ice. Now, dry ice is made of pure carbon dioxide. And so rather than melting when we add it to something that's warm, it actually just starts to boil. It's called sublimation. Sublimation. So you can see that when we add that in, we have this really cool Ooh, ah. foggy sort of effect. Um, dry ice, like I said, is really cold, which is why I'm wearing these gloves. To oh, I want to touch hands. it. I want to touch it. You can certainly <laughs> touch it up here <laughs> yeah. uh, because that's just the smoke from the carbon dioxide. That's awesome. Um, and this is called sublimation. You sublimation. Said. Yep. So when so people do this at home, now they know what it's called. Now they know what it's called. Okay. Um, the only thing you want to be careful of is that uh, carbon dioxide displaces oxygen. So if you're getting really close, you're breathing a lot of it in, you could get a, light, a little lightheaded. Okay. Um, but with this, we're going to make something called a ghost bubble. So in here, Ooh. I just have some soapy water and a pipe cleaner. You okay. can also use string. And we're going to trap that smoke that is being created wow. inside of a bubble. So and what, we should start to see it grow. Oops. Is that dish soap? This is just, yep, regular dish soap. And you dipped a, a pipe cleaner in it. You're rubbing across the top. And of course, it doesn't want to work for me today, but... It will work. <laughs> I have faith. Thank you so much. So it's going to make a bubble that we would say a ghost may be in that would yeah. pop and then a ghost would come out. So we Whoa. will see it. You know what? It doesn't always work on live television, well, but you can come and work. see it at the Michigan Science yeah. Center. But I really want to get to our pumpkin okay, um, okay. that we have here. So right. this is a crowd favorite experiment. It's called elephant toothpaste. Okay. But we like to make it spooky, so we're going to do it inside of our pumpkin okay. here. Now, the chemicals that we're using are a little bit more advanced than the stuff you might use at home, okay. um, but I'll let you know some alternatives that you can use. So the first thing that we're going to add is some 35% hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide is something you probably have in your medicine cabinet, but this concentration can actually burn your skin. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add about 50 milliliters of our hydrogen peroxide. Okay. And can you pour this right into our beaker yeah. there? All right. And this beaker right here. That beaker right there. All go right. ahead and dump it all in. There we go. Perfect. All right, then the next thing that we're going to add is a little bit of dish soap. Okay. Now, while you add the dish soap, I'm going to tell you about hydrogen peroxide. How much do I add? Just a good squeeze. Like there you go. That? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, right. A little bit more, a little bit okay. more. Okay. Perfect. Now, hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. And you know H2O is? Water. Correct, correct. So what we're going to do is create a decomposition reaction, which okay. means we're going to take the H2O that's in hydrogen peroxide, we're going to rip off that oxygen and create heat in okay. the process. All right. So in order to do that, uh, wait, first we have to add a little bit of fun. So we're going to add some food coloring. Okay. So this is just blue. Go ahead and add a good squeeze of blue. We want a really fun pumpkin here. Like that? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. All right. Now the last thing that we need to add in order to create this reaction is uh, potassium iodide. Okay. Now, this is probably something you don't have at home. Um, we're going to put this into our pumpkin first so okay. that the experiment will take place in the pumpkin. Okay. I'm going to pour out the potassium iodide. Here's what you're going to do. Okay. You're going to take this once it's full, you're going to dump it in there, and then right. you're going to put the lid on the pumpkin, and we should see it explode. An explosion? Well, sort of explode. A Woo! foamy explosion. I did ask before you got here today, are we going to do exploding pumpkins? You said not quite, but not something quite. close. But we are going to have some exploding pumpkins at the Michigan Science Center this we love weekend that. at some of our events, okay. which will be very exciting. All right, so All I'm right. going to pour this in now. You're going to pour it in, and you're going to put the top on the pumpkin right away. Oh, okay. Let's get ready for that. <laughs> Pour it in. Perfect. Oh, I, okay. I think I got a lot that's of it. That's all right. That's all right. And now in just a second, Do we, we stand should back? see some foamy explosions start to happen if we look at our screen. Oh, <laughs> yes. And you can even wow. see the steam that's rising off of it because it's an exothermic reaction. It's creating heat.
Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and it's a really nice shade of blue. You did a good job with our mixing here. <laughs> I love that. And for Halloween, you could add any color. You could do orange or oh, you could do black maybe. Mm -hmm. and you can try mixing the colors yeah, and see it. how it comes out. That's Definitely so cool. Definitely experimentation that can happen here. Well, this is a lot of fun. Now, you have a lot of events going on for Halloween and indeed. this weekend. Tell me about that. Yeah, so these are both experiments that are part of our creepy <laughs> chemistry show that we will be doing during our spooktacular event, which is this Saturday and Sunday during our regular hours, so from 10 to 4. Um, um, that's a super family friendly event. Kids are encouraged to wear costumes. We're going to do a costume parade. And then we're also going to have trick or treating that takes place inside of the building throughout the course of the regular day. And that is a great place to go in downtown Detroit to have a lot of fun with the kids. Yes, but if you're an place. adult looking yes. for some fun, mm -hmm. this Saturday night we have one of our after dark events. Oh. It's called the Nightmare on John R. Street. Ooh. So it's <laughs> not quite so family friendly. This is a 21 plus event. There will be a bar available on site um, as well as a little bit more of the horror, gory kind of side uh, okay. of science. And maybe some potions for adults? Definitely adult potions, potions for adults. Okay. Um, Detroit Paranormal <laughs> will also be joining us. So okay. we'll even talk about some spirits and things like that and how that relates to science. All right. I love it. So you've got lots of things going on. Also, you still have the dinosaur exhibit, right? We do. So we're also, one of the things we're doing at the After Dark is comparing uh, how Freddy Krueger's claw hand sort of compares to the T-Rex claws. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, but our T-Rex exhibit will be open throughout the weekend um, and will be here with us until January. All right, we're excited about that. I always love it when you come here. Angela Cavanaugh from the Michigan Science Center. What fun we've had today. Thank you so much, Troy, for having us. And we'll see you at the Spooktacular or the After Dark. I think I'm going to come and be there. I'll see you. All right, sounds great.